Hello my fellow preppers, this is the Homestead Prepper and what I want to show you today is our garden and what we went with was raised beds and the reason we went with raised beds is, is when we get a rain shower around here especially in the summer it is torrential so what you're looking at is um, they're 4x8 and they're made out of local cypress that we got from the Crossroads Sawmill in Land O'Lakes and uh, it's a 1 by 12 by 8 on the sides and that's a 1 by 12 by 8 that I cut in half and if you look over here you can see where I just took a 2 by 4 and just stuck that in the ground screwed the thing to it real simple and over here I took a 2 by 4 and cut an angle that's to brace the sides so they don't bow out very uh, straightforward and pretty simple uh, we went with cypress because it's, it, well, termites don't like it and uh, it's not, it doesn't leach chemicals in the ground. Now you can go with redwood. I don't recommend pressure treated because that will leach chemicals in the ground and it will go into your vegetables and then it will go into you. Another thing I want to show you is my wife's beautification of uh, our garden. She's got a pinwheel here and she's also got some in the sun and they, uh, well, they beautify the garden and they also scare the birds away and we want to keep the birds away from our blueberry bushes and we got a couple of them the blueberries are really looking nice this year we'll get this is homestead prepper to put her hand in there because her hand is much prettier than my hands are and yeah those are turning out nice and also got some uh, blackberry bushes that we transplanted from our property here they're wild blackberries we'll probably put those in our beds and clean up our property some more anyway so that's doing well but the uh, the point of this video is about affordable raised beds and like I said it cost me about fifty dollars per bed to make those out of cypress wood which, I mean, they're going to last for a long, long time, and it's very well worth it. But if you're looking to save money, like I always am, it doesn't get any more affordable than this. And yes, those are railroad crossing arms. And I got those for free. And you can't beat free. Uh, now, I had to, you know, put on some scuba equipment and go swimming in a, dive, a, a dumpster to get them. But uh, the price was unbeatable. And if you look over here... I did the same thing. I cut a uh, piece of that fiberglass right there, beat in the ground, and then I screwed the stuff to it. And I probably got about seven dollars in screws in these beds you see right here. Now these are our collards, and right now they're raging. We've gotten several meals off of them. They're they're delicious. And uh, if you look over there, those are our onions, and those beds over there are four by twenty-one. So we got our onions and we also got some carrots which we're just about out of them and I got some extra crossing arms here and if uh, if y'all are looking for a source of free crossing arms there's uh, rail stations all over the United States and cars run through the crossing arms the gates when they close because everyone's in a hurry and they break them and then what the signal crew does is they take them and they just throw them in the dumpster so I cut off the ragged ends and uh, it makes building materials now uh, I had some people over there ask me what I was using them for and I told them I was putting an addition on my double wide you know, it's just a joke you know I told them I was making raised beds for them and they all scratched their head but anyway if you want to go full boat redneck style this is the way to go you know or you can use cinder blocks or you can even lay timbers down for your raised beds anything goes um, another thing I want to show you is no garden is complete without an owl because pests and rodents don't like owls and also what you should do is move him around don't put him in the same spot you know for years and years you know every week or so moving put him someplace different anyway that's all just want to give you some ideas homestead prepper out